Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. 20 years. Four years. Let's see. 52 years. Wow. 15 years. Seven years. 17 years. And I started as an intern. Huh. You started as an intern? So did I. And we both ended up as chief of staff. How about that? I had the privilege of being White House chief of staff for three years, but some of my most important experiences were earlier, like working on a program called PEPFAR. That program that the White House designed with Dr. Tony Fauci has saved almost 20 million lives in Africa. That's real public good, and you don't have to be chief of staff to do it. From helping Native Americans through the nation-to-nation -nation relationship, to DACA, to getting health care for tens of millions of Americans, I'm proud of what I helped accomplish. I wanted to serve, to ensure that the American dream is available to all. I had a job in Silicon Valley. After 9-11, my wife and I moved to Washington. I knew I wanted to serve my country in my own way. I would say, just start somewhere. Get involved. Working for the United States government allows you to work every day at creating a more perfect union. I started at West Point, where I learned the iconic motto of duty, honor, country. I went on to become the chairman and chief executive officer of the Procter & Gamble Company. But there was nothing as satisfying as becoming the Secretary of Veterans Affairs and serving the veterans who, like me, served our country. As an immigrant to this country and a naturalized citizen, it's been a huge honor for me to serve for over 15 years in the federal government. There is cynicism about government, that it's boring or unfulfilling. I found just the opposite early in my career. So young people, this is the most interesting and challenging work you can do. What an amazing country where someone who's been on my journey and just a few years later have the honor and opportunity to serve inside the White House. I've had lots of wonderful roles in the private sector, but none are as satisfying or as meaningful as the one I currently have. If you get that opportunity, take it. I went from the inner city of Washington, D.C., to serving in the Air Force for 35 years, to working in the White House and the State Department, and even running space programs. I wasn't born in this country, but I too answered the call to serve. I worked my way through two presidents, several postings, and a global crisis or two, but through that I became the first female Secretary of State. Elections come and go, but one thing is a constant. We need great people to serve our country. But many people don't know how to start, what steps to take, or where to go. We can help. Ready to Serve is a vital resource and will get you started right. Yes, the forms can be complicated and take time, but the website shows you how. Whether you take part in a senior level role. Or start out as a junior staffer, like I did. Or have no experience, no connections. Still, I gave it a shot. Get into the arena and do it. Take the plunge, serve your country. I was ready. I was too. The question is, are you ready? Are you ready to serve? Roll up your sleeve. Get involved. Get ready for the experience of a lifetime. We will help you. So get ready. Ready to serve.